Okay, uh, student, this is the circuit diagram for two probe method. And here basically we have uh, four apparatus. The first one is the PID control oven. So from here we will uh, get the uh, current uh, where we feed to the oven. So from here we can control actually the, the temperature of the oven. So we will set how much temperature uh, we want to send to the oven. So uh, later on we will show you how to set the temperature. So this indicator here will tell you how much is the uh, present temperature and how much is the temperature set. So here we have uh, two oven. Uh, when you if you use this, it will be you can heat the oven till 600 uh, degrees centigrade. And then if you fix it to this, then you'll have till 200. So from the oven, you connect it to this uh, PID control oven, and then uh, from the oven again, there are uh, two. Uh, set of wire one you will co you'll connect to the constant high voltage power supply so the voltage will be constant throughout the experiment and then with the rise in temperature in the oven the current will uh, either increase or decrease so that part we will see current will increase or decrease you will see it later on so these are the four part of the uh, uh, circuit diagram or the panel diagram. So we will show you uh, all this apparatus now. All right, uh, this is the PID control oven, and this part is the oven. From the oven, there are four wires. One of the wires is connected to the temperature sensor, which will send the the temperature of the oven. And then uh, this part from the oven, uh, which will supply the current, the required current to heat up the the oven, is connected to this part of the oven. And the other two wire one is connected to this uh, high voltage power supply and this another part is connected to this digital pico emitter which uh, give you the current reading so inside the oven uh, this is uh, how it look like and then we have a sample which i will be uh, inserting now So this is our sample, it's a very high resistance sample. So this part you can pull this um and then put the and then you can insert the sample okay inside. You can pull it, uh, you can pull both this. Now once you pull them up. Now you can insert the sample and then now the sample has been inserted. So one part of the sample, one terminal of the sample is, can, is connected to, with this part and then another part, terminal of the sample is connected to this terminal. So uh, this is how we insert the sample. So after this is done, then you put it back inside this oven. So inside the oven, nothing much is there. Just the empty thing is there. So uh, you keep this inside. And then now we are all set up to on our devices and then began heating the oven and then check the increase or a decrease in the current so that's what we have to do now basically so now we will start up our uh, instrument so we will on all the instrument now 
All right, so we have switched on all our instrument. So before we proceed on, uh, there are few precautions which you should know that uh, this uh, setup is actually designed for high resistance measurement. And measurement of low resistance, it should be avoided in this uh, for the, this apparatus. And then this pico emitter, you have to set it to 10 to the power 5 this actually you can switch it between uh, uh, 1 till 10 to the power 5 so initially you keep it at 10 to the power 5 and then later on you see uh, uh, you adjust it accordingly uh, when the temperature increase so if it's not giving you the reading at 10 to the power 5 then you can decrease it a little bit and see uh, at what uh, reading at what uh, power it will give you there reading so uh, and the rest you have to make sure that the the voltage should not be that high you can keep it uh, below maybe uh, 5 or 10 volt below 10 volts so that's what you do and then the oh. okay uh, this is the PID control oven so basically from here how much you current you want to uh, send to this you have uh, sorry uh, how much temperature you want to uh, set your oven you have to fix it from this part so let's say right right now you can see 16 this 16 is actually the present uh, temperature it's showing the present temperature so what we want to do is we want to set the maximum uh, temperature of the oven to be around uh, 200 so what you do is you adjust using this uh, button here so when you press on this button actually you can uh, increase there is one up arrow and down arrow so up arrow will uh, let you increase the temperature so right now I have kept it till around 210 so 210 that will be the maximum uh, temperature up to which our oven will be heated up so once this is set then you can on this oven you can switch it on and then this oven will start heated up so once it start heated up then we can we can actually take the reading of the uh, ammeter but we have to first fix the value of the voltage that we supply to the uh, oven so let's I'll show you now how to take the reading all right uh, before you take the reading of the pico ammeter you set uh, this to the 10 to the power 5 and then you set it first to 0 okay so set it to zero now once this is done and uh, oh, sorry it's increasing okay so regarding the high voltage supply you keep it uh, around four or five volt don't give it so high so just keep it uh, like that and then uh, in this uh, case i have just set the 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 maximum temperature that this oven should be heated to be around 200 so now I'll just on the oven I will just on the oven and then we will start taking the reading uh, and uh, for small reading right now it's 10 to the power 5 so it's not showing anything so we for small value of the current we can just lower down the power so I'll keep it uh, 10 to the power 1 so right now at 10 to the power 1 when the temperature is 26 cent degrees centigrade we see that the uh, ammeter reading is 343 so let's see till uh, uh, at 30 we will start a reading from 30 degrees centigrade and then we will take the uh, ammeter reading so you can see uh, it's 27 it has increased to 344 
uh, and beer. Okay, so as you can see, uh, right now it's 49 and then the ammeter is 366. 50, 367. So in this way, as the temperature increases, the current actually increases. So now you can see 52 degrees centigrade, it's 368. Eighty three eighty four. Eighty hmm. three eighty four. Okay, so basically, uh, this is how you will take the reading as the temperature increases, the emitter reading will keep on increasing. So, after you take all the reading, uh, in this case, we have taken for 10 degrees centigrade difference so we have taken uh, the reading from uh, like uh, 70 80 90 so and we note down the reading of the pico ammeter so after you have taken the reading the rest is just the calculation part so the rest of the reading we will share with you in the classroom so this is how you do this experiment to find the resistivity of uh, some sample high resistance sample using two pro method so this is it thank you